Welcome back to Space Weather News, your daily source for all things space weather related. If you enjoy our videos, please consider showing your support by subscribing to the channel. In the past 24 hours, our sun has been anything but quiet, with moderate levels of solar activity making their presence felt. Here's a rundown of the latest solar events. Region 3431 has been a hub of activity, exhibiting significant development, gaining spots, and even forming a small delta in its intermediate area. This region was responsible for an M1 flare at approximately 2 p.m. on the 11th of September, UTC, signaling heightened magnetic activity. Meanwhile, Region 3425 produced an M1 flare and C-class activity, adding to the solar drama. Not to be outdone, Region 3423 continued to dominate the scene, producing an impressive M2-2N flare at approximately 7 a.m. on 12 September, UTC. Region 3430 began maturing during this period, as it developed penumbra and consolidated its trailing spots. However, regions 3432 and 3433 were numbered but remained relatively uneventful. Interestingly, all the coronal mass ejections, CMEs, observed during this time were far-sided or limb events. One faint CME associated with a filament eruption on the solar disk at around 2 p.m. on the 11th of September, UTC, was detected. Modeling results suggest a possible glancing blow, expected between late September 14th and early September 15th, with most of the ejector passing south. Looking ahead, we expect solar activity to continue at moderate levels with the possibility of M-class flare activity. There's even a slight chance of an isolated X-class flare event through September 14, 2023. Now, let's talk about energetic particles. The greater than 2 mega electron volts electron flux reached moderate levels, while the greater than 10 mega electron volts proton flux remained at background levels. The forecast shows that the greater than 2 mega electron volts electron flux is expected to remain at normal to moderate levels on September the 12th to the 13th and then increase to high levels as a faster solar wind regime approaches. The greater than 10 mega electron volts proton flux is expected to stay at background levels through September 13th, with a slightly increased chance of an event on September 14th. Shifting our attention to solar wind conditions. Solar wind parameters were mostly nominal, with the total magnetic field ranging between 4 to 8 nt for most of the period. However, on the 12th at around 11.30 UTC, there was a brief increase to 18 nt, likely due to a transient shock arrival. Solar wind speed also picked up, reaching nearly 400 km per second late in the period, with fluctuations in the BZ component and predominantly negative phi. Looking ahead, we anticipate solar wind parameters to become enhanced on September 12th and remain so through September 14th. This enhancement is expected, first due to positive polarity coronal hole high-speed stream CHHSS, influence, followed by negative polarity CHHSS influence by September 14th. And now, a look at geospace conditions. The geomagnetic field was mostly quiet, with isolated unsettled levels observed in the last period of the summary. The forecast indicates that the geomagnetic field is expected to remain at quiet to unsettled levels, with active intervals on September the 12th to the 13th, under the influence of positive polarity CHHSS effects. Quiet to unsettled conditions are anticipated on September 14th as negative polarity CHHSS becomes geo-effective. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic adventure through space weather news. Your support means the world to us, and we appreciate the many of you who have sent us your donations via the Super Thanks feature. If you want to further show your support and become an integral part of our journey, click on the Join button. By joining our YouTube channel, you will have the opportunity to deepen your connection with us and help us continue delivering captivating updates and insightful analyzes about our dynamic universe. Thank you for watching.